Man, where are the courts? Oh, I see them, they're over here. So far with the two cameras, with the screen taped up, I mean, other than advancing the shutter, it's a very analog experience. Digital in the past has always just been super boring. I'd go on a vacation, I'd take my little Canon camera and just shoot the heck out of the trip. And then by the end of it, I'd have like a few thousand photos that I just, it'd be such a daunting task to go look through them all. And it just kind of sucked the fun out of it, which is I think why I fall in love with film is because the most you're getting 36 shots of a roll. Oh, this is cool. Hopefully, man, with the sky. I was expecting the, the, when I do F4, 123, that are looking mighty bold. Oh, well, that's pretty right here. Whoa. Well, here we are, Sunday Strolls again, episode seven. Today, I thought it'd be fun to do a little comparison. I have the Leica M10, thanks to whoever hooked this up. And then we have the Leica M6 and do a comparison and not a comparison of image quality and the differences of that. We're gonna compare more of the shooting experience, a very analog digital camera and a, a fully analog camera and see what that's like. And to make sure we're not gonna pixel peep, we're gonna tape up the M10's screen. That way we're not triple checking our photos after every one. Both cameras are gonna have a 35 millimeter lens. The M10 has the Sumalux matching set. Both lenses open up to an F14 and close down to an F16. I have some Portra 400 for the M6. Kind of at the end of the day here, we're losing some light. We're gonna see what we can get. And I'm getting faster every time. Let's make sure we're set to 400 on the light meter. Let's make sure we set this guy to 400. So for the theme, we're gonna do bold. Whatever we can artistically justify as bold, that's what we're gonna do. We're back in Salt Lake. Liberty Park. We're losing a little light. Kind of got started a little late. Whoa, look at this eagle. This is kind of bold. Now can we make it interesting? I'm gonna start off with the film. Age before beauty on this channel. <laughs> Here we go, how does this thing even turn on? There we go, oh, there it goes. It's a nice lens though. Now let's just match up the settings, I'm at a 2.8, what did I go on this? A 2.8 and a 125th shutter. Man, it's silent, it's quiet. Even more quiet than the M6. It's kind of fun the way it's hitting that little pavilion over there. Man, let's try and sneak these, this couple in the front. F4, oh shoot. They ran away. Rushed. I rushed the shot to try and sneak them in. They ditched. It's kind of some bold clouds back there. That kind of, that works. Here we go, F4 at a 125th, or excuse me, 5.6. And that couple would have been great to have in the floor. Here we go. Oh, that's pretty. There you go. Capture it on ones and zeros instead of nice, fine crystals. And look at the, the light hitting this. Open up just a bit. F4, 125th. Yeah, it's hard to focus on a small pattern. Okay, there we go. Three, two. See, I'm tempted. I want to peel the tape back. Can't do that. Too many cameras around my neck. Here we go. And there you go. Here's this couple, we're gonna try and be sneaky. We're gonna go to a two-way. Really fun. It's kind of a bold to go fishing in a park. Crappy carnival up here, that's kind of fun. Oh, look at this dock though, that's kind of cool. Oh, well, that's pretty right here. Not all of this in the background. Three, two. What I do, an F4 out of 20, 120. Here's the M6. Three, two. I think that'll be fun. Sun sets at 8.47 today. We're sitting at 8.13 right now. Very bold. F4 at a 125th. Three, two. 
do F4 125th. Man, I went to go wind the M10. Three, two. Man, that is super funny. As I picked up the M10, I went to go advance the shutter. Let's see here. Three, two. There we go. How bold. Let's open up. I want, I want that to be shallow in the background. Three, two. That was at a two at a 500th. Match that. There's some funny little cars over here that are looking mighty bold. Let's do the Batman car. That's Batman's very bold. 2.8 and a 125th on the M10. You gotta do the red and blue one though, that's very... Let's take it as if it were a real car, you know? The classic vintage. You know, you go to a 60th. I think it'd pop more with a little light on it, but... Man, can you get inside the greenhouse? Or is it closed off? We're gonna go five, six. Now we're kinda under. Let's go at 125. Three, two. F4 at a 125th. Let's get the biker. Boom. There was a little biker under there. Passing under the flag. We're at a 60th at F4. Three, two. What? <laughs> Dude, we're having bad luck with bugs on this channel. Whoa, that bee scared the crap out of me. This greenhouse with the open lids back there. And hopefully we can capture, that's kind of a cool sky. Here we go, it's saying we're over. Let's go down to 25th. Three, two, one. Man, I think that's gonna be a good one. Here we go now on the M6. Three, two. And it's hard to beat that mechanical shutter noise. There's a volleyball court over here. Let's go see if there, there's usually lights on, so it hopefully will make a nice kind of cinematic bowl. We should get a shot of that with his fist up. Should we go ask him? Here, I'll tell you when I got to get set up here. Three, two. Okay, dude, now on this one. Three, two. Thank you so much. Have a great night. All right, we're gonna try and catch the ball at a, when it's in the air. See if she's any good. Three, two. Now for the true analog. Let's see if we can catch her before she serves. Three. And hopefully that'll be cool. Man, 8.30, we're kind of losing it. How many shots have we done? That's a good amount. I think overall comparing film to digital, there's just something about holding the M6 and knowing that you're advancing that film every time you pull that lever. And just this noise alone makes your head spin. The reasons I just have a hard time with digital now is film is just so much more fun to shoot. You get to physically touch your film and you have to be the one to load it in and make sure it's loaded properly. At the end of the roll, you hear the one to wind it back in. During the whole shooting experience, you get to advance the lever and physically move that film along. Versus digital, it's just putting in a memory card and recording those images in ones and zeros.
I love that you have to wait to see your images when you're done shooting film. It's almost like a Christmas element. The anticipation to see what you got makes it really exciting. And I think that's what made the M10 fun to shoot today is that we taped up the screen and we didn't know what we got. Maybe I could fall in love with digital again if I had the discipline to tape up my screen and not overshoot. That's why it was just so boring for me. I would overshoot and I'd have to look through all those photos. It sucked all the fun out of it. I would spend too long trying to find the perfect photo because there were thousands of them versus with film, you're trying to be extra careful and only capture exactly what you want. I don't know, there's something about film. Shooting film heightens the stakes. You only get 36 shots. I mean, and how can you not fall in love with this noise right here? It's like a little endorphin machine. It's like that game Bop It. You get to twist it, pull it. I don't know, it's just much more exciting than digital. I'm not talking down on you if you shoot digital. It's, they both have their places. I just think film is much more exciting. I know I'm gonna plug in the card from this shoot. The images are just gonna look sterile versus with my film photos that we captured tonight. I feel like there's gonna be a texture about them. I know I can get a similar look with a digital image, but why fake it when you can have the real thing? I think the shots I'm most excited about, there was the light coming on that grass right next to the lake. I think that was some really pretty light. Then there was the dock and it had the two girls right there and the Mount Olympus going off in the background. I think the M10 is a great camera and man, it's super minimalistic. There's hardly any buttons on here. Digital cameras today are just littered with buttons. The user menus are super complex and a million miles long. So you gotta praise Leica for making a very simple, nothing but shutter speed, aperture, and ISO. I think film's got it beat. I don't know, I'm a film guy. So at the end of the day, it's whatever gets you out there shooting again. And for me, film has done that. If you guys are liking Sunday Strolls, please comment your favorite photo down below. You know, hit that subscribe button and we'll keep them coming every week. Alrighty. Episode 7, Sunday Strolls. Oh, let's get out of here.